Hi everyone, this is Trent with our maintenance group and today I'm going to show you how to do a reefer trailer inspection. So this is going to be an addition to the items that you're going to be checking as part of the DOT trailer inspection. So first off, the first thing we're going to check is going to be on the front of the trailer, that reefer unit right here. You want to look at the overall condition of this reefer unit for any damage at all. There shouldn't be any dents or uh, damage to the, the plastic here on the front. Then we want to turn it on and do a reefer uh, pre-trip on the actual reefer unit. This is a self-test that it's going to take about 20 minutes to run through all the steps that it needs to do. Uh, there's a link down here on the bottom of the screen that will take you to another video that will have more information about that if you need it. Um, so after we do that, we're going to uh, start going down the side of the trailer here. All right, here we're at the side of the trailer. First thing we need to check, obviously, is the side walls of the trailer. So you're just looking for any damage here at all. This sheet metal should not have any damage to it. Uh, sc small scratches are okay, we can live with that. Um, if you're not sure one way or the other, then you make sure and get in your pickup report. Uh, but if you see any insulation showing on these side walls, uh, the, the sheet metal is torn through, then we need to make sure that's addressed. Get a hold of Road Assist and, and we're making a plan on that. Next, we're going to check the frame rail at the bottom of the trailer and at the top of the trailer. Both sides of the trailer, top and bottom, have a frame rail. And we want to check the rivets here and make sure those rivets are, are all there and not damaged at all. Next, we're going to come right underneath the trailer and check these cross members. Uh, these cross members should all be attached and not damaged in any way. Um, they should be attached, again, with these rivets, so you should see them attached on the inside here. Okay, here we're at our landing gear, and there's a problem we have in particular with our reefer trailers that I want to make sure you're aware of. Um, there's a cross shaft right here that connects these two legs, and that cross shaft is what makes the passenger side leg actually go up and down. It's connected to the gearbox over here. And if that cross shaft isn't connected properly, then that passenger side leg isn't going to work. Here, we're looking at our fuel tank. We're checking it overall for any damage at all, any dents or cracks anywhere. Uh, checking underneath it here for, for fuel leaks. We obviously can't have any fuel leaking. Check here and at the front of the reefer unit for fuel leaking out of there. Uh, next, your fuel level. Make sure your tank is full. If you're picking up or dropping a trailer, you should have a full tank of fuel. And check the brackets right here and make sure they're not damaged in, in any way. All right, here we have a side skirt. You're just checking this overall for any damage at all, and it should be attached securely to the bottom of the trailer with these brackets. You just make sure it's not flapping around at all. All right, underneath our reefer trailers, we should have a spare tire. We put a spare tire on pretty much every single reefer trailer that leaves our terminal. So uh, this fifth tire should be used anytime you have a tire change done out there on the road. Um, and uh, it should be a good tire. Uh, you can easily tell that by whether or not it's holding air. So it should be mounted on a wheel and holding air. If it is, you know it's a good tire to go ahead and put on. With our reefer trailers and any trailer that's got tandems, you want to make sure these locking pins are, are out and securing the, the tandems to the bottom of the trailer. So there's four pins, two on each side. Make sure all of those pins are out. Any of them that are not out is a DOT violation. All right, here we've got our Sherlock system. And I've got a link on the video right here that will talk more about that if you need more info on it. But you just want to make sure this Sherlock is disengaging and, and coming back anytime your brakes are released on your trailer. Uh, here we're at the back of the trailer. We need to check several things. First of all, just the overall condition. You want to check and make sure there is, again, no insulation showing on the body. Uh, this sheet metal should be intact. There shouldn't be any tears on there. If there is, get a hold of Road Assist and let us know. Next, we're going to check these hinges and make sure they're all locked in place, especially up here at the top. Uh, those top hinges are known to not always lock in place if you're not careful, and that will create an air gap, and you could potentially have a load claim if, if uh, unchecked. Then you want to check these hinges right here and make sure that they're all undamaged. Uh, depending on the kind of trailer, you, should, you, you could see four or five uh, hinges, and they should all be intact. Now that we're in the inside of the trailer, uh, if you have any insulation showing on the inside, we can't load perishable product inside that box until uh, that, that damage is sealed up and watertight. So uh, any insulation showing, we want to make sure and, and that gets addressed. Check all these rivets around the outside of the door here, make sure they're all secure. And then check and uh, make sure this door seal is not damaged anywhere. There shouldn't be any damage to that rubber at all. Sometimes we see this header or door frame become detached, um, and when that happens, that's obviously a big problem, so make sure that it's attached securely. All right, now that we're inside the trailer, we want to check for, again, any damage on the side walls. Uh, again, any insulation showing is a no-go, so report that to Road Assist. There are several products out there that we can grab uh, off a store shelf that will do these repairs for us um, and get us back on the road so we don't have to drop it at a shop somewhere. Next, you want to check this scuff all the way down the bottom of the trailer on the side walls. That's a thicker material that we put down here at the bottom to help with, um, you know, like pallets rubbing against the, the side of the trailer as they're um, bringing and removing product from the trailer. Um, next, you want to look at the floor here. 
There should be no damage to the floor, so you're checking for cracks or gaps in the floor. Small welds are okay, um, as long as there's no cracks. There should be no cracks in the, in the metal at all. Um, you're also checking for cleanliness here. Um, so if it's uh, got a liquid or residue on it, if there's grime on the floor at all, we need to get it washed out. But if there's just debris in here, we can usually sweep that out, or better yet, invest in a battery-powered leaf blower and just blow it out really fast with that. Coming up to the front of the trailer, you want to check this bulkhead right here, this plastic attachment on the front of the trailer. It's part of the reefer. It's how it's pulling air back into the front of the, the, the reefer. And uh, it has to be attached fully, so you want to make sure it's not loose at all. Uh, coming up here to the top, you want to make sure this chute is attached fully to the, to the front of the bulkhead. And, uh, you know, there should be either screws or rivets right here. Some of our older trailers do have Velcro, so this is just attached with Velcro. Whatever it's got, you want to make sure that it's not loose or open anywhere around that. Uh, next, you want to check this chute and go down the entire length of the chute. Basically, you want to check this chute for uh, tears or hanging down anywhere in the length of the chute. So after you finish looking at the back of the trailer and inside, you want to make sure and come down the passenger side of the trailer also and look at all the same stuff that you checked on the driver's side. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to checking these trailers out. Uh, I also want to plug a class we do here at Prime um, every day in Springfield over at our campus inn. Uh, we, we have what's called the pro maintenance class. We talk about uh, inspecting the reefer unit. We talk about about 40 other things that uh, are maintenance related that you really should know out there on, on the road. So consider taking that class. Um, <clears throat> we also do it over in Pittston, Pennsylvania at 1 p.m. on Thursdays. And look for this class to start showing up in, in Salt Lake also. We're going to have it out there at Thursdays at 1 p.m. also in the next couple of months. Thank you all. Appreciate all you do.